Looks like no shift November started to kick in. Anyhow, so the UEFA Nations League group stage is almost over. We only got two match days left. Man, what a nice first edition we had. Of course, it's not going to end entirely because we still got the playoffs next year. But enough about formalities, let's get in. Just like last time, we had some pretty interesting results in the last match days, so let's take a look. In League D, Kosovo beat Malta 3 1. Moldova beat San Marino 2 0. Belarus smashed Luxembourg 1 0, which was pretty surprising considering that Luxembourg are really a good team in that league. Armenia were defeated at home by Gibraltar with 1 0. And this was the third overall win after a 1 0 against Latvia and Malta, and both of them were in friendlies. So we can say that this was their first official win. <laughs> wow! And surprise, surprise, a few days after that, they got their second win against Liechtenstein with 2 1. Their fourth overall win. In the end, we probably can say that uh, Liechtenstein and Armenia can take hands. Go and get married in front of the Gibraltar. <laughs> Moving up a little to League C, most important league of them all. The first notable match was between Montenegro and Serbia, and the Serbs won that with 2 0. A real derby, I must say. In the same group of League C, uh, Lithuania were defeated 2 1 by Romania at home. It was a really difficult game for us, I must say, with, with artificial grass. And some other group. Israel defeated Scotland 2 1. What? Is, wow. I mean, Scotland, come on! And Greece defeated Hungary 1 0. <laughs> and after that match, we can say that the visitors are still hungry for a goal. <laughs> Speaking about Hungary, in their second match of uh, that group, they drew 3 3 away against Estonia. Which is pretty badass. Um, for League B, I only have one notable match because it was um, a friendly derby between Slovakia and the Czech Republic, which ended 2-1 in favor of the Czech. Well, in League A, there were some pretty badass scores. Uh, first of all, Poland were defeated 3-2 by Portugal. And Portugal were, not, were playing without Ronaldo and with three Silvas up front. Yeah, in the first group, Netherlands smashed Germany with 3-0 at home. Damn! And with that, Germany are almost relegated of the group. Back with Poland, they also lost against Italy at home 1-0, and that confirmed their relegation to League B next year. Yeah, next season. Some shocking result was that Spain was defeated 3-2 by England at home after England uh, had a 3-0 lead and damn. So after what I said last time, um, the Nations League might come home after all. Also in League A, Iceland were defeated 2-1 by Switzerland at home. And that confirmed Iceland's relegation to League B next season. One last notable result of that League A is that France defeated Germany 2-1 at home after the Germans had a 1-0 lead and a controversial penalty awarded to France. And with that, I really can't stand that we don't have the VAR in all possible competitions because this is just so much better. Probably the French took advantage of that uh, no VAR rule and gave the ref some Germany. <laughs> The final standings after those two match days as follows. In League A, Group 1, we got France with 7 points, Netherlands with 3 points, and Germany 1 point. It will be dramatic until the end. In Group 2, there's Belgium up top with 6 points, then Switzerland also with 6 points, and Iceland with 0 points. Now, as I said, Iceland is already relegated. And Belgium is up top, which I got correct. And Group 3, we got... Portugal with 6 points, Italy with 4, and Poland with 1 point. Also, as I said, Poland is relegated. And I got Portugal up top, and that's also correct. For the last group, um, we got Spain with 6 points, England with 4, and Croatia with 1. Hmm. 
it seemed more even at first. You know, Croatia was really weak with that uh, six nil against Spain. It was really shocking. Okay, and League B, we had um, Ukraine with nine points. Yes, uh, Czech Republic with three points. Points and Slovakia with zero. And with this, we got the first promoted team, which is Ukraine, and they are also uh, already qualified to um, the Euro 2020 playoffs. If they don't qualify directly to the uh, qualifiers, but they are there. Uh, group two, there is Russia with seven points, Turkey with three, and Sweden with one point. We can say that uh, uh, group leaders are rushing to League A. In group 3 we got Bosnia on top with 9 points, then Austria and Northern Ireland. And there's really anything that can happen for Austria. And the last group of League B, there's Wales on top with 6 points, Denmark with 4 and Ireland with 1 point. And I got the correct things to get it back. In League C, Group 1, we got Israel on top with 6 points, Scotland with 3, and Albania with 3. In uh, Group 2, we got Finland with 12 points, maximum points. Um, so far, then Greece with 6, Hungary with 4, and Estonia with 1. Uh, Finland are, are already promoted to uh, League B and qualified for... Um, Euro 2020 playoffs, <sighs> and I'm really, really um, disappointed in Greece because I predict that they will win the group. In Group 3 of League C, we got Norway on top with 9 points, Bulgaria also with 9 points, Cyprus with 4, and Slovenia with 1 point. And I predicted Slovenia to go on top, but there's Norway, Slovenia would have been worse. <laughs> Okay, I'll stop. The last group of the league, um, Serbia with 8 points, Montenegro with 7, Romania with 6, and Lithuania with 0. Lithuania are here, uh, thereby relegated to uh, League D for next season. And anything can happen, there's only one point between each nation, so... Come on there, Romania! In League D... There's Georgia on top with 12 points, Kazakhstan with 5, Latvia with 2, and Andorra with 2. Georgia are hereby promoted to League C, to League C. And... Oh! <laughs> they also got a, a goal difference of 9 to 0. So none of those other three nations managed to score a goal against Georgia. And I really <laughs> did not predict that because I thought that Kazakhstan would go on top. Crap. In the second group we got Luxembourg on top with 9 points, Belarus with 8, Moldova with 5 and San Marino with 0. And I got that correctly. Luxembourg are really the favorites for this team and for this group. <laughs> and favorites to go for um, that Euro 2020 playoff. Group D3 we got Kosovo on top with 8 points, Azerbaijan with 6. Faroe Islands with 4 and Malta with 2 points. I also got, almost got Azerbaijan. I mean, I got Azerbaijan and it's almost correct, but it's, I'm really happy for Kosovo because they're, you know, there's such tiny nations and then real fighters there. They're pretty good players, apparently. In Group T4, we got uh, former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia with 9 points, then Gibraltar with 6, Armenia with 6, and Liechtenstein with 3. And I got that correctly. And you know, Gibraltar still has a chance in that, so hang in there. Well guys, that's about it for today's video. I'm really looking forward to the last two match days of uh, the Nations League and after that, of course, to uh, the playoffs, the semi-finals and the final to determine the first ever um, Nations League winner. I'm still uncertain to what teams are going to qualify yet, but we'll see. My mind is on track. So, anyway, um, yeah. So I'll see you after the last two match days to look at the final standings and look uh, look forward to the playoffs, as I said. So yeah, bye.